What are my favorite heists in Payday 3? This tier list will tell you exactly that. Payday 3 launched with 8 heists, so this tier list is not going to be too long. Obviously, with more updates, I will make more tier list videos on where those DLC and hopefully free update heists land as well. But this is just going to be the 8 launch heists. Starting off with No Rest for the Wicked, uh, the bank heist we already played on the beta. I think this has good both stealth and loud objectives. But it's not perfect. So it lands somewhere on the B tier. I might change these up in the future. Uh, but right now I think it's it's a decent heist, but nothing groundbreaking. Then we have Road Rage. This is only a loud heist, which might be a little bit iffy for some people, but I do think it's nice to have some only loud and some, some only stealth heists. Obviously, we don't have only stealth heists now. Uh, Road Rage. Better objectives than other heists, uh, following the truck and moving it uh, is a nice change of pace. Uh, the only thing I don't like is uh, lock picking is the only option to get into the loot van, but there, that isn't a big thing, so I think it lands here on the B tier as well. Next up we have Dirty Eyes, the jewelry store of this game. In stealth. I find the objectives are quite nice, uh, loud, feels a little bit forced that you have to go down to the basement instead of just smash and crab. But I th do think this lands somewhere somewhere on the C tier, I think it's a little bit too small. Uh, only when you go down to the basement it starts getting a little bit bigger, otherwise it would be just similar to Diamond Store in Payday 2. It's nothing groundbreaking, but it's a little nice that the escape can be next to the river and make make the heist a feel a little bit bigger. Now, Rock the Cradle is the nightclub heist in Payday, Payday 3. And I feel like this is one of the better ones. It goes to the 8th year. Just the whole atmosphere of this heist is straight out of John Wick. The objectives aren't too crazy. I feel like the defending of the hack is fine, finding codes and whatnot, it's great. Just the whole nightclub vibe, especially on the VIP area is just, oh, I fucking love it. Then we have Under the Surface, which is a stealth, stealth heist that you can only also complete in loud, but I feel like the objectives are, well, in stealth and loud, basically the same. And they do not work. They do not work in uh, loud. It has some great ideas, but the execution is not that great. It goes somewhere on the D tier. I don't think any of these... I mean, this tier list doesn't have an F tier, but any of the heists don't deserve that F tier either. Uh, maybe in the future if there's some stinkers coming with updates, but right now D tier is the worst and even those are fun to play. Next up, Gold and Shark. Uh, another bank heist. With it goes at least to the A tier. It has better objectives than No Rest for the Wicked. It's a little more fun. Escaping on the roof is well, not really hard, but a challenge because of the snipers and when the assault is there, uh, it can be overwhelming when bulldozers get to get to you your teammates and stealth wise the objectives are fun it's kind of a mix between big bank from payday 2 and the smaller branch bank like no rest for the wicked it's a nice little balance and i think it belongs on the higher tiers now 99 boxes aka the sperm bank heist well i think I don't like the objectives in this at all. I think some of them are bugged or glitched because you can open doors that are supposed to be locked without lock picking or using a key card, whatever. And overall, the stand in boxes, especially in solo play, is just not fun. I hope something is done to that heist, but right now it's not in a good place. 
then touch the sky. The farming, farming simulator heist of Payday 2, Payday 3. Uh, the objectives are actually pretty fun. I think it goes to the BTF. It's like 95% inside ma inside map, inside a mansion, but still it manages to feel large and the objectives are straight to the map. And you don't really need to camp in one place, even though that seems to be the strategy for farming. I go to the bathroom in this map. What are your favorite heists? Tell me down below and if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to make more tier lists in the future and obviously way more Payday 3 content as well. I hope you guys are all having a good day. I'll see you next time. Master Indigo signing out.